prawns, buckos, bounties. Alright guys, pop quiz. What sound does the eagle make? America! Yo, bucko, it's Zero. Come back to you with another figure of you. And happy Independence Day. Hell yeah. Because British piss off, mate. But anyways, guys, today is awesome. I decided 4th of July, one of my favorite holidays for party reasons. We are gonna bust open the brand new Captain America with his sexy ass suit. Yeah, I think that might be America's next ass. But there are some minor gripes I have with it. We'll talk about that in a minute, but I'm just excited to dive in and finally build this figure. So let's go ahead and open up your new Captain America and Bucky. Which he was almost Captain America. But let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging first. So bam. You've already seen the other videos. I'm surprised I made videos of the entire wave. I wasn't going to do that. But oh well. Actually you haven't seen WandaVision yet. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. And YouTube does not like my Marvel content. So tell YouTube to suck it. And make sure you check out that video on Wednesday. We also got Iron Man coming this week. Bam. Hit that subscribe because I'm excited to crack open Tony. But anyways, bam. Falcon Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier, Disney Plus, Marvel Studios, bam. Got Bucky on the side here. Back to packaging, thrust back into the real world. Bucky is forced to figure out how he became an action figure. Just kidding. How to become James Barnes again, all while facing demons from his past. He pulls a sexy broad, but his call to action does not allow it. <laughs> then we got back packaging, Barnes again, top of packaging. I guess that's his logo. That kind of like Captain America looking thing with the cybernetics. That's kind of cool. Bottom of the packaging, unreadables. Now let's go ahead and get into your new Captain America. Bam. And very rarely can you. I don't know. I wish I didn't have to order this, but yeah, I wish I could have picked out one because dude's hairline is messed up. We're going to see how messed up it is when he gets out of the packaging, but you don't mess up a brother's hairline. Anyways, guys, Falcon Winter Soldier, Disney Plus, Captain America. Really digging the shield, but we'll see if it's good or bad in a little bit. I haven't really made up my mind on that yet. Side of the packaging. Bam, Sam. Back of the packaging. Donning a brand new suit and wings from Wakanda, Sam Wilson proudly takes on the mantle, ready to unite people as the world's new Captain America. I always wonder how that worked. Is Captain America just for America only, or is that for the world? Who knows? Here's your Captain America logo, bottom packaging, unreadable, and I think it's time to crack these bad boys open. Alright guys, another pop quiz. What sound does the eagle make? Give me oil! Alright, here is Bucky out of packaging. We're going to take a quick look at his accessories, then we're going to get straight into building the Captain America wings. So, yeah, just for starters, he comes with two accessories, and it is his only two accessories. I think, I don't know, these guys have been kind of skimping on accessories, but for here, it kind of makes sense, because Zemo really comes with the only other accessory that I can think that he might have, which is his uh, journal, but, or the journal he gets from Zemo, but yeah, oh well, but his arm is looking really nice already, I'm really liking the paint on that, don't know if it's accurate, but it looks really nice, but anyways, he comes with his two accessories, he comes with this open hand, kind of like grabbing hand for his arm, and then, bam, this kind of fisted hand for his other arm, so, yeah, you get, you get your kind of grabbing hand for your normal arm bam let's pop that off here pop this on yeah both of his normal hands are gonna go left or right for the swivel looking good okay bam and then get his other fisted hand off Whew, I'm really liking that okay that was scary bam pop his grabbing hand on so yeah here's your death grip hand very cool looking. Um, 
yeah, I'm really liking the paint apps on all this stuff. I'm looking really freaking good. But, yeah, that's about it in terms of accessories. Um, yeah, and then he comes with the final build a piggy part that we need, and that is going to be his wing. That is Captain America's wing. So now, let's go ahead and build Falcon America. Right, and real quick, before we build the Captain America wings, um, let's just take a deep, a closer look at his two accessories. So, starters, he comes with his backpack, which is basically the same thing as the one that comes, I think this came with Loki. Yeah, it's basically the same thing, just, you know, just closed off. So, he'd still be a pretty good figure, even without all the Build-A-Figure parts. It goes ahead and plugs on there very nicely. I didn't, wow, I'm surprised how smooth that went on. For some reason, it did not look like the shape of his back at all, but that plugs in there very nicely. We're just going to leave that there for now. And then he has a shield part, which, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how to be feeling about this, because... On one hand, the peg, I absolutely hated that peg and kind of like, I don't know. But on the other hand, it's just, it's just kind of weird because I don't think you can get this on his hand without pulling off his hand. So let's go ahead and pop this on real quick. Bam. Okay. Yeah, so... Alright, so the good news is, I'm kind of liking that already, because it's very firmly on there compared to last ones, and I don't really, I don't really think you have to worry about it breaking. The only sucky thing is, you gotta detach the hand if you want to do anything with it. That's kind of, I kind of wish he came with, like, fisted hands or something in that case, but he doesn't. Don't know why you wouldn't have fisted hands, but oh well, but very firmly on there so that's already a plus for me because I hate like knocking the shields off my Captain Americas because they're very poorly in there but I don't know John Walker comes with the older style of shield in this new Falcon Winter Soldier variant so I guess we'll just have to wait to see that but I'm really digging the shield here it looks really freaking nice I guess the paint detail is a little off on the star but not too noticeable and yeah, the shield here looks very nicely detailed. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the shield. I am kind of digging it, but I'm also getting mixed vibes from it, so who knows. And then we're going to go ahead and just get straight into this Build-A-Figure. Or the Build-A-Accessory. Because he doesn't really come with the full accessory he, he needs. Alright, first things first, you got to start with this backpack. Okay, I think that's a pretty good look for the wings. I think we built that correctly. Okay, that was what I was worried about, was just not being able to build it correctly, but... I don't know, it looked more gappy than this, from what I remember? That's really weird. Maybe I'm tripping? I don't know. Did I build it the wrong way? No, that's gotta be the right way, right? Yeah, that, okay. And then, bam. Here's Red Wing. Pop that into the peg here. Now this, this is abysmal. The kind of whole mechanism that attaches this is just horrible, so we'll see if it lasts more than two seconds here. <sighs> if I can even figure out how to put this on. Okay. It's a shame because I really think they could have done better with this at least, because I can forgive the next piece, but this, yeah, this is abysmal. But I guess it kind of, okay, that's not too bad. And then this last piece, which is just absolute garbage, is going to go ahead and plug in right here. Here we go. Bam. Yeah, and I'm just not... I, I, I don't know. That's kind of that's kind of garbage. That's kind of a garbage-ass stand, but this is looking okay-ish, I guess. And then, bam, we'll go ahead and take off this backpack. And then 
plug your new Captain America into his sexy ass wings. Holy crap, okay. Yeah, and then again, I don't even know what the point of the stand is if you can't even get him off the ground, so. We are gonna pop open. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, so here he is completely built, but I think that this is looking like absolute garbage, so never using that again. Trash for you. Yeah, so we might as well, while I'm here, pull out Bucky, which you can't see, and pull out the old. Falcon. So, I guess we're going to compare these two real quick. But yeah, we're stealing the stand, and holy crap, that's dusty. So yeah, already a better stand. Uh, if you're wondering what stand I like to use, this is Obitsu, I believe, is what it's called. Yeah, it's Obitsu, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's Obitsu, I'll show you the packaging. You can usually get, like, five or six, a bulk of these. Sorry. Usually get a bulk of these stands for really cheap, like tw 20 bucks. Yeah, so multi stand Obitsu. Very nice. Uh, definitely my go to for all my stand needs. And that's going to be my number one tip for today. If you have open action figures, just buy, just go ahead and buy like five or ten. It doesn't even have to be those stands. Just do yourself a favor and buy some stands because at the end of the day, when all you, you want some flying figures, and this is one of those ones you want to have, you know, flying. He has the wings. You paid for the wings, even though you probably shouldn't have. But I'm thinking he looks okay. I don't know. He looks good. He looks. I'm thinking he looks better than the Infinity War version already. Um. Yeah, but ah, oh, where do I even start with this? Okay, so honestly, we're gonna get Bucky out of the way first. I think that's what we need to do. So, all right. Well, well, Captain America is chilling out in the background there with his uh, droopy Red Wing. Which rest in peace, Red Wing. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at both of the Buckies. So first off, Bucky doesn't come with this gun. So don't expect to ever get something this cool. This is Action Force. Action Force all day. They're gonna be releasing there figures pretty soon here so go check them out shameless plugs I guess <laughs> but bam all right and here is your new Bucky versus your Infinity War Bucky now if you really wanted to I guess you could take this old face and put it on here both of these likenesses look really good but I think I think honestly this one looks a lot better plus hell if you really wanted to make a Luke Skywalker custom yeah, probably could. I know you all want that Sebastian Stan Luke, but this is the face you want to use for that. Um, but yeah, he looks really freaking good. Probably a better Luke Skywalker than most of the Luke Skywalker molds we got, but... <laughs> Thanks, Mandalorian, for making us think that. But anyways, getting into this figure now, we really can't, like... It's really just a costume comparison at this point, but I really wanted to take a look at their arms side by side, mostly. Cause that's really the only thing that kind of stays like even their even the boots change a bit um, obviously like most of this body is like reuse or most of this old body is reused from like an older figure but yeah mostly just want to take a look at the arm real quick and just look I, I like both of these arms but I really like how they did the glossy black with the gold there um, there's this few spots it looks a little blotchy but Overall, it looks really good because glossy, pulling that off with like the glossy paint to make it look shiny still, is really difficult to do. But then again, I wouldn't know because I am not Hasbro. But yeah, both the arms look really good. I think this one just looks a lot sleeker, especially with the costume design. But yeah, um, very nice. I really like both of these, but this newer one is looking really nice. Holy crap, so... Yeah, you got your ab crunch here, bam bam, just uh, overall it's looking amazing. I'm really digging the arm on this one, the arm is really definitely the centerpiece on this one. Now part of me thought they were going to paint the arm 
like red, white, and blue. Maybe they did. I'm not paying attention, but yeah, I remember seeing something back there. I was hoping to get that, but am I tripping? But yeah, this arm looks really freaking nice. Um, yeah, and those pans are kind of plain. There's really not much going on here, but this is a pretty good figure. It just doesn't come with a ton of accessories, which I can't really blame it for that. Um, all right, and getting back to the main boy, your boy, it's your boy, Sam Wilson, Captain America. So I wanted to start out with the wings real quick because they are super big, super bulky. So for starters, with the backpack and everything, um, yeah, so you don't, it looks like Red Wing could fit back here, but it doesn't, which that really sucks because honestly... I, I know you gave it up for the stand, but it would be really nice if Red Wing could fit somewhere back here because, or just something. That's all I want is this, this piss stream, uh, not piss stream, <laughs> this little glue stick trail thing they threw together is garbage. It really is. It sucks. So you have to buy like a mini freaking popsicle stand, translucent pole thing just to get him in a good spot. The molding on it is really good. I really do like that, but pain and everything, but just garbage, just garbage. Yeah, so gonna throw that to the side, unfortunately. Bam, getting back into the wings. Here's a look at the Infinity War wings. Um, kind of hoping at some point we get his Falcon, his Falcon costume and wings from the show. I really think that would be pretty cool. Don't know if they do the build a figure thing like they did here, but at least they have a base for it now, even though the wings are completely different. But yeah, um, see, there's no articulation on the wings whatsoever, unless you want to risk it with these little pegs. But yeah, in terms of wings, the new design is really good. Is it 100% accurate to the show? I don't know. I'm really digging that metallic paint going on throughout, though. Very nice. Um, yeah, and then the backpack is just sleeker. Yeah. And then we're going to go ahead and just take off these backpacks because they are really obnoxious. <laughs> right, starting with the back of the figure, you can already see two different peg holes. So it's not even the same mold. I'm glad they went like the extra route and just remolded all this stuff because there was some like really weird disproportional things. And then they did not mess up his hairline here, but they did mess up his hairline here. How do you mess up a brother's hairline? How do you do that? Like, I should not be able to see that brown paint there. Like, what the hell? <sighs> it sucks, because I think if they didn't mess that up, there wouldn't be too, too much to fix, I don't feel like. But, oh well. And then, yeah, in terms of the suit, you can kind of see, like, the kind of inspirations that are brought over, like the lines and stuff. But yeah, this is this is a Captain America suit through and through, and I'm really digging the way this is designed. It looks really freaking good. Damn, sneeze it. Yeah, and then God, the suit just looks so good. Like this is this is a sexy ass suit. When they showed us off in the show, I freaked out because I knew it was coming. I knew what it looked like, but getting to actually see it in the show was beautiful. You got the stars on both sides. I don't even know why I'm bothering to sh compare the figure because I mean like really not much going on here. Really digging that translucent plastic. Uh, you can kind of see his eyes underneath so I'm glad they did that over this red paint. So really the likeness here is pretty good compared to the old one. The old likeness isn't bad but it's just such an upgrade to finally have a photo reel Anthony Mackie. Very nice but... Unfortunately, that hairline is not doing it for you, dude. But, yeah, in terms of comparison, there's not too much to compare because they are completely new suits. Usually, there's something to show off, but, like, yeah. So, just wanted to get minor details out of the way, but getting back into this figure, looking really good. Man, I'm loving the whole, just everything here. Goggles, transparent. They need to do more of this kind of transparent work. And of course, some of the orange is showing through right there, so that sucks. Um, there's a little paint, white paint on his ear. That's unfortunate. 
Does he have a moving neck? It seems like it. That's really strange. Man. Yeah, just really liking this design through and through. Really good. But other than that, yeah, everything's looking really good. Are these boosters? What are those? Those are sick as hell. That's really cool. Wow. Oh yeah, those are boosters because the old one does have boosters on his. That's that's cool. Or those are something, but that's really sick. I like that. Then here's your bam peg holes, and it's really weird how this is the only piece that's done in that kind of like metallic. The rest of it is painted on, but can't really tell at first. But when you start looking at it, it's very obvious. I don't know how to feel about that. It's done in like this same color as the shield, so the rest of the silver is all painted on. It looks really good. But yeah, overall, um, he's a great looking figure. It's just, I don't know. He looked a little off in the packaging, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, the hairline, I might have to go over that with something. Just a little bit of black paint or something, because that's so annoying to me. Other than that, he looks pretty good. I just really hope we get the Falcon Winter Soldier version of the Falcon suit because this is really nice don't get me wrong but man I would really like to see that <laughs> anyways guys let's get to articulation bam going back to Bucky you got uh, no I won't this is really weird because it sometimes the next move sometimes they don't uh, it just goes up to bulge weight head you go up th that far for looks down that far head tilt there's no butterfly joint they completely skipping out on some of these are wow that you should not have been able to bend that do you see how far back that bent wow that's almost scary oh i see why because there's okay note yourself be careful with that because that was the scariest experience i've had since commander Gree. wow then you got bicep swivels on both sides bam bam then you got double jointed elbow which this one's not just, just not wanting to move at all. Double jointed elbow. Missile at the wrist. For both wrists. Bam bam. Ab crunch. Torso swivel. Again, not digging that too much. Bam. Legs go forward that much. Back that much. Out this much. Then you got bam. What is this? It's not even a thigh swivel? What? Lower thigh swivel? That's really weird. I don't know what that is. Double jointed knees, kicks his own ass easily. Uh, boot swivel. There we go. Boot swivels, guys. Hinge at the ankle, forward facing pin for rockers. Alright, getting back into Sam. Now, for Sam, you got. I almost want to say this neck does move, but. Because it's, it's definitely a separate piece. And it, I don't know, it's slightly articulating. I don't know. Then you got ball joint at the head, go up that far, down that far, head tilt. Pretty decent movement, I guess. I wish he had a little. Eh. Nah, I think that's okay. -ish. I, eh, maybe he could do with a little more since he is going to be flying and stuff. And there's no butterfly joints, which I, I think this is the figure that would have needed it the most. This is definitely the figure that would have needed those butterfly joints the most. Hit the swivel at the shoulder. Can't really get far up at all, so that's really unfortunate because of these little hey, the little hin uh God, what are these? Yeah, these little notches. They kind of prevent it from going up too far. And also scratched off the blue paint, so uh, yeah. Then you got bicep swivels, double jointed elbows which can't really get up that far so oh well a hinge and swivel at the wrist like i said i really wish this came with fist hands but it doesn't then again same thing over there hinge and swivel at the wrist but his shield is there then you got your ab crunch then you got your torso swivel which this is a good like i said i commend them they have belts and you can hide the swivel not bad at all that i'm okay with that you got a hinge or your feet go forward that far Back that far, out that far, thigh swivels, double jointed knees, can't really get back far at all, thanks to his thruster boots, he has no boot swivel, 
then he has a hinge at the ankle and forward facing pin for rockers and here is his peg bam let's get into a 360 view of these guys Here they are next to some of the other figures in the wave. Here he's next to Zemo, US Agent, and Scarlet Witch. And I almost left out this segment completely, but it wouldn't be one of my reviews without Old Left Limbs and Luke Skywalker Squawker. Alright guys, and honestly, these guys look real great next to each other. Um, the paint on these guys is a little like or at least on Sam is a little off-putting. I don't know, I think it's just the colors are really weird mix of colors. It's just a really weird bash of colors, but it's not too bad. I think he looks good as a figure. He does, for $20, you pretty much can't beat this, but the wings are a little obnoxious. I wish that they would have went with some kind of other build-a-figure or something. Um, it's cool that we can get articulated wings, but yeah, I wish they would have just given us the wings partially, because it really can't be that much extra plastic just charge like 25 30 dollars for this guy and just give us the wings come on guys but yeah um bucky though looks pretty excellent i just want to see more stuff i feel like there's a lot of disney plus stuff we're missing and i really wish that they would have taken the extra time with a lot of these figures honestly because they're all they all look really good but you take closer look at some of them and they just kind of like, eh, no. But yeah, Sam looks okay. Bucky looks pretty good. Uh, I think Wanda looks really freaking good. White Vision, he's looking pretty good. Um, Zemo's looking okay. And US Agent, he's eh. And then Loki's pretty good, but I think I like Loki a lot more now because of the show. But anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of Falcon the Winter Soldier. Let me know what you think of these figures. Happy 4th of July, and always remember what sound the eagle makes. Anyways guys, you can bring them in warm, or you can bring them in cold. Thanks for watching, and good hunting.